Hello guys, so we're here at the top of this uh, Moloinsen village and we were just discussing how beautiful this the views are like amazing we have seen a beautiful like you know the sun setting and we have also seen a lot of villages around I, I didn't know like there were like so many villages around this you know so yeah, Uya is here and we are here to learn and we are so much eager to learn like you know like some certain facts about this village oh, and so. yesterday yeah. I just came to realize that there are so many things that I need to learn <laughs> and then on top of that there are like also very very important facts and there are also very important events that have occurred here so we yeah, will like just say something on that so where do you want to know like do we key what do you want to say why Molongimson is so important for like Nakas. Okay. Yeah. Before I talk about Molungyam, so just look at the sunset, how beautiful Did it is. And we are just good. at the top of a clock tower, mm -hmm. which is visited by many tourists all over the world. Mm -hmm. Now, standing here, you can see the sweeping views of the beauty of Assam on one side. Mm -hmm. You can see Lyuman village there. Mm -hmm. And then you turn, you will see Yachang village. Mm -hmm. If you turn around, you will see the valleys of Assam and Tuli mm -hmm. and on a very bright clear day you can even see the Brahmaputra river and the eastern Nagaland is there on the other side oh. so it is so strategically perched mm -hmm. and then this is located in the uh, Changpetpong range yes so talking about Molong Yemsen now Molong Yemsen I think you know that it is called the cradle of uh, Naga educational heritage mm -hmm. and then the Christian pilgrimage village mm -hmm. and because of the religious and educational importance mm -hmm. now it has a lot of significance mm -hmm. that has uh, importance not only among the Aos mm -hmm. but the entire Naga tribes today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you want to know more about it I can tell you more yeah okay. one thing that really stuck my mind was like okay Mary Matt was here and she decided like oh we need to educate women first like the the first formal education that she started was like she called upon all the women flocks and then she started to teach them uh, you know like educating them so i was like really surprised and i was also like really very much eager to know like you know at that time what she thought about a woman <laughs> okay then being a woman mm -hmm. i think it has a lot of relevance mm -hmm. to talk about the issues of women mm -hmm. and the issues of women as a woman today mm -hmm. now the very base of women issue it starts from this very soil mm -hmm. because in 1878 mm -hmm. Mary Maid started the first school mm -hmm. the first school that was started in Nagaland was started in 1878 for girls and subsequently the boys uh, school was started by mm -hmm. Dr. Clark and mm -hmm. Gotola mm -hmm. and then <coughs> if uh, we'll have to talk more about it then in 1880, now uh, when Mary Mead started working with the Naga women, mm -hmm. now she realized that the condition of the Naga women were very uh, bad mm -hmm. because you should know that we have a patrilineal system yes, of society. Yes, we yes. are so dominated by mm -hmm. the men, and even at that time, mm -hmm. that was uh, during the time, let's say, 19th, uh, later part of the mm -hmm. 19th century. Now, women were not even allowed to get baptized mm -hmm. because men said that women have no right so that made uh, Mary Mead very uh, she started to think as to how she should help the women mm -hmm. so history says that on 15 August 1880 two ladies now we call, uh, by the name of Mrs. Tuksangla and Mrs. Tompangla mm -hmm. <coughs> they in the record they said with great fear and trepidation they got baptized mm -hmm. and so that day we call it as a first step towards the liberation of Naga women mm -hmm. and then uh, that was the year when women fellowship also started mm -hmm. and yeah. every year 15 August it uh, every year on the 15 August mm -hmm. Mulung Yimsen Baptist Church women mm -hmm. we observe mm -hmm. this as Mizong Naga Ola the first voice of the Nagas. The first voice of the Naga women. Naga women. Yeah. 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 Because wow. the first step that they mm -hmm. took, the plunge for baptism. Mm -hmm. Because you should know that the men did not even want women to be baptized. Mm -hmm. So that was liberating for Naga women today. Yeah. And 
well if you want to know more about then uh, you talk of marriage solemnization mm. christian marriage solemnization first took place here in 1878 wow. okay. and that was solemnized by dr flower yeah. now women issues is one thing there are many issues we can discuss yes. but let us keep that for some other time yeah. but now uh, if you have to talk about uh, missions mm -hmm. now we are here celebrating 150 years we are talking mm -hmm. about christianity yes. but uh, it is very interesting to always reconnect with history mm -hmm. because if we go back to history it makes us connect with the future also mm -hmm. so in 1885 uh, dr clark uh, he debuted uh, Reverend W. E. Wheater by giving rupees 500 to go to Lotha areas, mm -hmm. and then the Lotha mission started from this Molung mission. Oh, from here. Wow. Yeah, because the soil that we're standing here, this is the mission compound, which was established by Dr. Clark on 24th October 1876. Okay. So this soil it doesn't belong to Molung himself. No, no, no. Still okay, owned by okay. Americans. This area, this mission compound belongs to the American Baptist Foreign oh, Mission Society. Okay. Okay. And this is the land, so you can see signboards, mm -hmm. billboards yeah. saying it is American Baptist mm -hmm. Foreign Mission uh -huh. Society. Mm -hmm. So this is the mission compound where Dr. Clark lived. Mm -hmm. And okay. from this mission compound, Lothar Mission started in mm -hmm. 1885. Okay. And then in 1887, uh, Reverend S.W. Rivenberg mm -hmm. and his wife mm -hmm. was again debuted by Dr. Clark to go to Kohima. Okay. And then once they reached Kohima, Mulung Yemsen Baptist Church uh, gave 18.8 anas. Think of it, anas. Nice. Now we, it doesn't even uh, strike us that mm -hmm. such a uh, denomination yeah. uh -huh. existed. Yeah. And then Dr. Clark gave $3,000 mm -hmm. to Reverend S.W. Rivenberg to mm -hmm. start the Angami mission. And also to translate their scripture into Angami. Three thousand wow. dollars. Yes. During it is 18, or? Uh, 1887. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. So That's a lot. Yeah. So Mulung Imsen Mulung Mission is called the first Baptist mission center. Okay. And then uh, this Angami mission center is the second uh, Baptist mission center under the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society. Aro Kili. Uh, pilgrimage village materials pilgrimage village is because uh, you know the foundation of christianity uh -huh. uh, started from here and then last night you must have witnessed how reverend jim bell mm -hmm. the associate executive director of yeah. american baptist international ministries had declared that this is the first christian village mm -hmm. because of the uh, christianity that had uh, penetrated throughout the Naga Hills. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about Lotha Mission, Angami Mission, and subsequently it's spread to all the uh, Naga areas. One yeah. thing that I really liked about uh, last night was like, uh, he was saying, which was written on the record. <coughs> so they were, it was recorded, it, was, it wasn't like scripted at all. It was recorded and he even said the page number. So that was something which was really genuine. Mm -hmm. And that was something like, yeah, even at that time also they were quite sincere, like, you know, we need to really maintain this for the younger generations, mm -hmm. for the future, for the Nagas to know certain facts. So that was something very thoughtful, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah, I think he was yeah, a really because, wise man. No, yeah. because as young people, mm -hmm. the context of historical references is very important mm -hmm. because we cannot talk about the origin of church or any mm -hmm. institution yeah. based on one's idealism. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the 19th century, I think during that time, Dr. Clark was literate enough, yeah. educated enough. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, we had not even started mm -hmm. uh, our yes. literacy, yes, our education. Yes, yes. And yeah. we had, there are many proven documents also, mm -hmm. uh, the Ab American Baptist Foreign Mission Society magazines, mm -hmm. and the uh, mission correspondence, mm -hmm. and then the station reports, which he had to submit to the American Baptist Foreign mm -hmm. Mission Society on the activities of Christianity that was taking place. Mm -hmm. And there are many uh, relevant documents that proves that Christianity existed from here mm -hmm. and well we cannot distort history yes. so I go by proven records mm -hmm. records has to be proven well yes yes so, Our yeah. clerk to Mulung Imsen, the, how many years he did was did here for 21 years 21, 21 years, years. Like, yeah, and then one very interesting that? thing is he lived in uh, Mulung Imsen for 21 mm -hmm, years mm -hmm. since 19, uh, That's 1876 a long time. Mm -hmm. 
and you know Impur. Impur. Yeah, yeah. Impur Mission Center. Mm -hmm. So one thing that you all should know also, I'm also trying to learn is that this Mulung Mission Center was shifted to Impur mm -hmm. in the year 1894. Everyone has the right to celebrate because mm -hmm. the advent of Christianity started from 1872 in Deca Haimo. Mm -hmm. And we are all rejoicing. Yes. Even uh, Abam has celebrated, mm -hmm. we are celebrating. Yeah. Even Deca Haimo, Mulung Kimong will celebrate, mm -hmm. and the rest of the Naga Hills. We, we have... celebrate every day. Yes. We are fortunate, we are blessed enough to be, you know, yeah. old, and we are so blessed, I should yeah. say. Yeah. So every day is a celebration. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have to rejoice because we yes. have the freedom of religion. Yes. Yes. And one thing also I'd like to add is that this Impur Mission Center, mm -hmm. it was shifted from Mulung himself, mm -hmm. the Mulung Mission. Mm -hmm. So, so Impur Mission was started. Mm -hmm. And again in 1897, uh, there was a group, association called the Our Christian Association in Mulung mm -hmm. That nomenclature was changed to Abam. Okay. So the existence of Abam also starts from Mulung Mission. Mm -hmm. The subsequent transition from 1876, to 1894, Abam Impur Mission, and subsequently also the establishment of Abam. So, Mulung Mission probably start going yes, up. Yes. Yeah. So you talk it's about like history. a tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. bears fruit. Yeah. 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 So this, so this is the Mulung Mission, which was started by Dr. Fla, mm -hmm. and the first uh, Baptist Mission Center, mm -hmm. and we're standing here. So we're so blessed. Yeah. And really just blessed. look at the beauty. Yeah. So the scenic beauty itself. Mm -hmm. Heals our souls, isn't yes. it? Yes. So it is so sooty. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think you yeah. can see the church also. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the church service is going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So at that time, like, uh, even stereotyping was there. Like, the women were not allowed to get this uh, from education. The women, they were not allowed to baptize as well. So, do you think, like, even now, yes, obviously, now women are allowed to baptize and, uh, you know, a lot of things are going on. But do you think that? Uh, even now, like still stereotyping uh, exists in our Naga society. That is a very pertinent question and a very relevant question, mm -hmm. and this is something we need to discuss in the midst of Naga men, mm -hmm. because we are a very patrilineal system of society. We have mm -hmm. the society which is dominated by men, mm -hmm. but it is time for Naga women also <laughs> to break from the shackles of male dominance mm -hmm. in terms of. Uh, empowerment, mm -hmm. empowerment in the context of economic empowerment, and education has liberated us today. We are here with confidence because of the education. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is time for Naga women also to think mm -hmm. why now we cannot uh, take steps to be at the at the level where we cannot take decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or yeah. one fifty years, why we don't have any? Now uh, we have. A very young uh, woman, mm -hmm. uh, Madam Pang Non, yeah. who is the MP. Mm -hmm. So it has taken 150 years. It has and taken 150 years to be there. <laughs> father, her maternal grandfather, mm -hmm. was the first reverend from this church. Oh. I, I came to only yesterday. Yeah. I didn't know that. Her, yeah. her maternal grandfather, mm -hmm. Reverend Nakshi Nukun, mm -hmm. now he was the first reverend. Mm -hmm. So we feel so proud that out of the soil of this uh, mulung, mm -hmm. now we have Fruits. a woman mm -hmm. who can represent the Naga our women so well. In and 150 think, years, uh, it took such a long time. Yes. So but it should yeah. not just take us 150 years mm -hmm. now, yeah. one month from now, one yeah. year, 10 years. Now, Naga women should emerge and so, take leadership, mm -hmm. leadership even at the decision making level, administrative, uh, at the administrative level also, or even in the churches. Mm -hmm. Now women, we Naga women are so talented. Yes. So I think we should step out yeah. from the dominance of men and assert our own rights. And yeah. economic empowerment is very important. Mm -hmm. And economic empowerment starts from education. Mm -hmm. And once we are liberated, once our minds are liberated, it gives us the confidence to step out. Yes. So we have to educate each other mm -hmm. and we have to encourage our Naga women mm -hmm. to be more assertive mm -hmm. and then help build a stronger society, mm -hmm. stronger churches. Mm -hmm. That will heal our... So you mean even those uh, Naga women should take part in the political issues as well? Of course. Of course. Why not? But why not? <laughs> 
Yeah. But what is stopping us? Yeah. 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 What is stopping mm -hmm. us? So there are the questions that yeah. we have to now start thinking. Be yeah. Because uh, I've witnessed one, like one of my very good friends, she took part in an election. I was there with her just to support and, you know, just helping out her out and stuff like that. And her own Golini also, they did not vote her because she's a woman, like she's a lady. If you just go and ask her, then she will tell yeah, that really happened. So then I realized that, yeah, we should need to talk more about empowering women. Yeah. And even men also, <coughs> if they support like, women empowerment, like empowering men, women, the children, if she herself empower herself, then she will empower her kids the younger generations, the future. So I was like, yeah, we need to talk a lot about it. And there, there are like certain men who be like, oh, we, we, we encourage women since like our forefathers, we let them do whatever they want to do and stuff like that. But it's just, you know, verbally. I got comments like, hey, tell her go and cook in the kitchen. Tell her not to waste parents' money by buying motorcycle. You know, I have experience. We should that. we should know that we're living in the twenty first century. Yeah. Now yeah. the advancement, think of the advancement. Yeah. Now yeah. we are talking about women's rights. Mm -hmm. But the advancement that we are seeing now technologically, industrially, mm -hmm. and it is women who are contributing so much yeah, to it. Yeah. But here in the Naga context we're talking about women who cannot even assert one's rights. And then, as you have said, we have a very stereotype definition mm -hmm. of you are a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is a setback. Yeah. And I think the mindset of Naga men should change first. Men should allow women to go out, to step out of the homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is also important to empower a woman economically also, mm -hmm. politically also, mm -hmm. so that it helps our society also emerge. Mm -hmm. And then women have more abilities and then I think we have the potential also mm -hmm. to lead our society mm -hmm. and our state by uh, at a decision making level also and politically also I think mm -hmm. Madam Pang Nguyen should not be the first woman many more should come out many more should come yes. out yeah. she's and coming then, right tomorrow yeah she's coming tomorrow okay. and we're so proud of her really proud of yes. her yes yeah. and the blessings yeah. and then the legacy because now when we talk about it we are talking, we have spoken about the first formal education which has started mm -hmm. in 1878 mm -hmm. and now the blessings of the grandparents. Mm -hmm. So it goes down, no? So we're very really happy and proud. Yes. I think we should be proud. Really proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes, yes. They live down here. She has her maternal uh, grandparents' house mm -hmm. and then they have Many beautiful things are here. You can see the first uh, tomb, the first uh, cemetery, mm -hmm. the first Naga cemetery, which was that was also buried. Yeah, that was also really uh, like weird yes, at yeah. one point because yeah. I was like, yeah, she was the one who decided like, yeah, let's do this. Like she was the one who wrote that record. Yeah, yeah. it from was in today, 1897. From today, yeah. if a man dies, if she or he dies, yeah. like it will be buried under this. Yeah. Uh, then because after three days. Because, on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because uh, at that time, before 1897, as per the narratives that we have heard, mm -hmm. now when we die, our bodies were allowed to decompose by putting them out outside. Fire. Yeah, fire. but in 1897, as per the Abam resolution, mm -hmm. they decided that uh, when a person dies, they should be given a very good Christian burial. Yeah. So the first Christian uh, cemetery, the first burial also took place here. And the cemetery is also here. Mm -hmm. So there are many more things. Mm -hmm. So I think it is time to educate each other. Yes, very true. Wow. She, Asina, I've Asina. learned so much. Historical yeah. village. Yeah. Mm. Historical village. And it has a lot of uh, significance. And it has a lot of influence. Mm. in the. It's just that we should uh, have a mind of, a uh, critical mind of thinking now, especially yeah. the young people. Mm -hmm. We should be because we are educated mm -hmm. we have western influence western mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. but we should know our roots mm -hmm. our roots is our uh, how are we originated that, yeah. yeah so we should stay we should stand connected with our roots yeah so our roots starts from here yeah. it's the foundation and yeah. we are so blessed and we are so lucky to say that you know foundation started from like 
this clerk Tai Ahina. He yeah. he himself sacrificed and he put so much effort in it. Yeah. There's so many there's so many uh, historical interesting historical uh, relevance mm -hmm. that many Naga people use, especially the young people is not aware. Mm -hmm. So I think you should use your channel to promote and educate the young people mm -hmm. and help us connect with our history because True. we have a very rich history mm -hmm. not only culture not yeah. only politics but even christianity True. True. and christianity today we know that it is a stake so we should True. know from where we originated and where our future will be yes so that is yeah. Yeah. Me and Lano, we are personally very thankful that, you know, Mulong Yimson Village, they invited us. Mm -hmm. And Mojini over... Your first visit? It's my first, yeah. and All for right. him, it's the we second time. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, so you came on your bike? Yes. Wow. So it's such a great privilege. And I should say that it's such a great privilege to learn from you also. Thank you so much, Oya. I also Oya. learned so much from yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope even the viewers are like, oh yeah, this we have in, like, you know, in There are many more stories. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just that we are focusing only in certain aspects, yes. but there's so many areas mm -hmm. where Dr. Clark has opened up the eyes and then yeah. the visions of Nagaland. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I think we can do many more stories. Yeah, many more we to come, have, okay? <laughs> now, let us say we have, we have to tell many more stories. Yes. Yeah. Our stories should not end here. Yeah. So please keep on coming and to our my, this channel. Is my, <laughs> this is my first time yeah. that I'm in front of a uh, in our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, in some other uh, news channels, but not in this blog. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are so blessed, thankful, like really, really thankful to Very you as well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Come up learning. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have learned so much as well. Me and Lano personally, we did not know so many facts that yeah. happened here, and today we are so blessed. So we'll we'll so cherish. So much. Okay, say hello. We'll you. go and get more tea. It's, it's thanda thanda. <laughs>